So after eight months sailing in the South Pacific, the time has come to an end and we have to go back to Australia. We are planning to stop in the middle of the passage in a place called Chesterfield Reef, who belongs to France and it's just pretty much a reef in the middle of nowhere. You pretty much anchor in five meters depth. Yeah. We leave behind a lot of experiences and memories, people we have met, things we have done, and for sure I will remember that all my life. Weather conditions look good. We have 15 to 20 knots from the southeast turning into east in two, three days. But that should be good. So saying that, we'll get the boat ready and tomorrow morning, here we go. We had to jibe and jibe and jibe because it was impossible to get up there. We had current and also we had the wind just behind us, like that was the pain. Um, so it doesn't let us uh, use the jeep, so we are only with the main and the mizzen. And it's just in that angle where you cannot really sail where you want. So yeah, it was not easy, but we are getting here. We are very happy. Now we are having an absolutely perfect sailing conditions. We're going like six, five, six knots. There it is. And in a couple of hours we will be in the reef. This is day four and we are about to arrive to the Chesterfield Reef. It's not being always as good and as smooth as this, but it's always amazing to get to the destination like that. So beautiful. So beautiful. I just feel like Darwin when he went into Galapagos Island. This is amazing. It's full of birds everywhere, just everywhere. And they are not afraid of us. I don't know when was last time they've seen a human here.
This is Mark and Josephine. They have both been sailing for years, crossed many oceans and told us many stories. Well, here we are about to cross into Australia from Chesterfield Reef. We are gonna have 18 to 25 uh, knots of wind and we have 440 nautical miles to go. And you said? 2.4 meter waves, which is gonna be interesting. The ocean has come down a little bit as well, so it's a little bit more smooth. Benny, how is cooking in the boat? Ah, look, it presents you with certain challenges. One, you sweat like a pig, because it's very hot. Uh, secondly, man, this is a pretty good start. I've got to grant it, you know, it's, uh, it's got a lot of swing to it, but it stays upright. And that's a mark of a turtle. Turtle, well that's not a turtle, but those are the marks of a turtle going inland to put the eggs. Okay, maybe he wants to, wants to eat them. No! No! Oh my god, okay, that sounds pretty good mate. I'm just gonna add that Carlos forced me to quit smoking. <laughs> <laughs> forced me. The supermarket. Yeah. yeah, I'll get you cigarettes. <laughs> get like two days into the trip <laughs> in the middle of the fucking ocean. Sorry. Middle of the ocean. Hey Carlos, man, have you got that pack of cigarettes? No. <laughs> anyway, Carlos was then called up his mate and said, Mark, can you buy some tobacco for my friend? So then I got tobacco at Chesterfield Reef, <laughs> of all places. Uh, how about our hair? <laughs> what is that? How about the fact that Carlos has got more dreadlocks now than he does hair? I have so many dreadlocks. Mm. There is no time in the ocean, the ocean is rough. We are racing against the storm, just trying to get in front of that... Of that what? That front? Yeah, it's a front. Okay, it's start more, again. A... And I tell you what, I tell you what, I will see you again. But not yet. <laughs> <laughs>